uh, piece of information is a one-off, uh, the FASTA format or the FASTA format. Uh, the FASTA format, very often if you need to use, um, very often if you need to go to a resource which does some sort of a processing and you have to enter a now sequence. Now you will see that these sequences are, you know, you can just cut and paste the sequence and it should be processed. But very often uh, they will ask you for the fast A sequence. And that is why, that is, um, you know, it's important to understand this again. Uh, this is not really related to any sequence analysis, but, but it should allow you to uh, understand what a fast A sequence is. Uh, when we look at um, next generation sequencing, the the information related to the reads, and we'll we'll discuss what that is. The information related to the reads is often uh, is obtained in what's called the fast Q format, and when we get to that, we'll uh, we'll we'll consider that. So the fast A format, um, you will see that there is a caret sign here, and that's and we'll we'll look at a sequence at a caret sign and wherever there is a caret sign it signals to a program that is looking for a fast a formatted file that uh, this caret is about about a sequence so you can put any information you want about a sequence and the length is not important that is really for you uh, it signals to the pro program processing the sequence that there is a uh, information about the sequence is about to come about but the program will generally ignore anything that starts with a caret so beneath the line that contains the caret and information about the sequence you will see you will see the beginning of the sequence now remember the length has to be 80 characters long. Okay, so if you have a sequence that's 320 amino acids or nucleotides long, you're going to write it in four lines, each 80, 80 characters long. Now, it does not have to be 80 characters long. It can be shorter, and that's not a problem. So the moment the program that's processing the sequence encounters a blank, it's going to it's going to you know ignore it but on the other hand line. if you have a but if you go over 80 characters then your sequence is not going to get processed okay beyond 80 characters it's just going to stop at 80 characters and then move to the next line so let's look at a sequence so this is again the caret signifies that a new sequence is coming up but the caret is not read with any kind of processing it's just read and then reproduced so this is about some mouse OR, which means some olfactory receptor, and I'll bring up these because it's part of my personal research. So here you have a nucleotide sequence. Um, remember, this is 80 characters long. You can go shorter than 80 characters, and the moment it encounters a blank, it'll go to the next line. But uh, do not go above 80 characters long. Now, you know, just this is a little technical matter. If you want, if you're typing a sequence in, in let's say, a notepad or some sort of ASCII text, um, uh, text file, uh, one of the things that I normally do is I just write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, reproduce it 8 times so I know exactly what 80 characters is. And then what I will do is when I type my sequence, I'll make sure that it is, um, that, you know, it, it go, does not go beyond this last 0. And that's that's what tells you that this is 80 characters long. Okay, that, that, that ensures to me that... Um, that you know, I'm not going to write it more than 80 characters and have a nucleotide or an amino acid ignored by whatever sequence processing program I'm looking at.